It's 2017. I'm in Italy. I step off of a train. I walk out. I turn to my right and there's this wildfire. Fire. There's a f you can see the smoke from over there. Where? Just back there. Later that day, I go down to the beach, walk along some rocks and take this photo. I think this is the greatest photo I've ever taken. I've been taking photos for a while now. I think a great photo has a great story. You look at it and you start asking questions about the photo, not looking at what's in focus, what's out of focus, it's looking at the image as a whole and what is in it. And to take a great photo is hard. As a photographer, I always try to go out and I try to to look for the next great photo, but really you just, when it comes, it comes. Like when I was in Italy, I thought, like that's what I knew, I'm like, I need to take this photo because I'm not going to get another opportunity to, to see something like this soon, maybe ever again. Someone may think a photo of a lens with a blurry background is a great photo. I don't think it is. It's a nice photo, it's a good photo, but it's not great. I'm trying to build up this body of work of photography and, and photos, but I look at them and I go, this isn't great. I've got good photos, I've got photos that have contrasting colors and, and are interesting compositions, but they're just, to me, they're not great. Am I a perfectionist? No. But when it comes to selecting photos and showing people what my best photos are, I get stuck. To set yourself aside, you need to take these great photos. That's why people do portraits. I mean, I love portraiture. I love taking photos of people. People are interesting, that's why. There's always a story behind a face. You really need to have the context of what was happening. Maybe he was the one that started the fire and he looked at me. Or maybe he's just a dude who was watching this fire. A guy who's encompassed by the flames and the visuals that are in front of him. I think a great photo is always the context behind it. Even if it's just how you took the photo or where you took it, what makes it great to you. I could take a photo of someone throwing a ball. What's so interesting about that? Well, the context could be that that person has never been able to move that arm before. Maybe they've had a car crash and they, they were paralyzed here and now they can finally throw a ball and you captured that first time that they threw the ball on camera, that's a good story, that's a great photo. So in my opinion, any photo can be great as long as it's got the context. Give it the context and no one can tell you that it's not a great photo.